The standard reach-in ceiling mount evaporator system is comprised of the low-profile evaporator evenly matched coil and air circulating fans and is easily serviced. On freezer models, this will also include the electric defrost heater as well as a defrost heater safety. On top of the cabinet, you will see the condensing unit, which includes the compressor with the starting components, the condenser coil, the condenser fan motor, bracket, and blade, as well as the power cord that goes into the side of the control box. The control box includes the master power switch, the 10-foot power cord on 115 volt models, the terminal block for wiring, the control board for the electronic control if it is required, and the duplex receptacle on the side of the control box clearly labeled for the condensing unit and the condensate vaporizer. It is very important the condensing unit does not get plugged into the side marked vaporizer as this gets 100% power and will create service issues and may affect the warranty. For all top mount plug box refrigeration systems, you will have a top baffle and side air ducts for even airflow. All top mount plug box refrigeration systems will have the condensing unit and the control box as the standard models as well as a stainless steel hot gas loop coming off the condensing unit that is placed in the stainless steel condensate pan to evaporate the condensate discharge. This eliminates the need for external plumbing or floor drains. The electronic control is mounted on the front grill and will take the place of the thermometer, the thermostat, and the defrost timer. It's easily calibrated and adjusted and if additional information is needed you can consult the operation manual or the factory. For additional information visit our website at www.continentalrefrigerator.com